ever seen. I'm the greatest thing in this world. Get that right over. From two, he, weigh, he weighs in at 251 pounds from Omaha, Nebraska. Brian Blade! Give me a break! <laughs>
no, no. no. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, That's the dog. He said no. He ain't talk. He shook his head. Hey, uh, what? Uh, what uh, I just did. We're not supposed to. It's against the rules.
good. Thanks, Wagner Fest. Sorry for Alex the Great. We'd like to thank you all for coming out and watching us today. We really appreciate all of you coming out, seeing us. We hope you guys had a really good time. This is a great event you guys have here in Gordon. I hope, I hope we can keep coming back year after year. It's, a lot, it's been a lot of fun already. We look forward to keep coming back. And it's a great way for everyone to get together and believe, you know, and get together and celebrate our faith. What we're doing here, it kind of mimics life. As you see, every now and then in life you can, you can cheat, you can lie, and you're gonna win some things every now and then. But in the end, this is the Bible says, in the end, good is always going to defeat evil. They may cheat, and they may have their dirty tactics, and that may work for a little while, but overall in their life, at the end of the day, being honest and doing the things that are right is what's going to make your life the best and what's going to make everyone else's lives better. in life, everyone's going to have their losses in life. We're not always going to win. There's winners, there's losers. It's not about how you win and how you lose. It's about how you handle yourself at the times of winning and how you bounce back from losing. Alex lost earlier. So as you see, he came back. Came back and we won the right way. And now we're standing tall. The ones that cheated, the lied, you see, they're gone. Life is all about persevering, believing that God has a plan for us. Now, God's not always going to put everything in front of us. There are forks in the road. He gives us different paths to take. You can choose to take their path and try to get the easy way through life, or you can take what may be the harder road, but in the end, it's going to be the most gratifying road. God's not just going to say, hey, here, here's a million dollars. You know, some people win the lottery, but your odds are not very good. Hard work, being good to your neighbor, being good people, that's what God wants us to be. He's not asking, he's not asking to be perfect. There's a reason that Jesus died for all of us to forgive our sins. We're all going to sin. Everyone here is a sinner at some point or another. Whether you want to believe that or not, and we've all done it. We've all tried at some point or another to take an easier road than what we should have done. But you bounce back. The Lord forgives us for that and gives us another path to take. It's all about what path do you want to take in life? What do you believe? Are you going to go down that route with the straight and narrow, be good, you know, one of the things I like to do is make sure you put a smile on somebody else's face every day. Go out of your way just a little bit. And all I can be is hold the door for somebody. You know, if, you know get, hand somebody their newspaper. Just any little thing you can do will make somebody else's life better. That's all you have to do. One a day. You'll feel better about yourself. They'll feel better about you. And you'll feel better about you. Now, I'm sure you know, we get a lot of kids here. I'm sure you guys have goals and dreams. And what do you guys want to do? What do you guys, what do you, you know? Pro what? Pro athlete. Pro athlete, okay? Yeah. Well, Good one. All good ones. Pro athlete. I can, I can relate the most to that one because that's what I want to do when I was here. Everything I want to do is be a pro athlete. I want to go to Nebraska, play football. Went to Nebraska, got hurt, never got to play. So God gave me a different path. You've got to believe there's more than one path. You may become a pro athlete. You may become a great pro athlete. You may play for the Packers someday. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to play for the Packers. <laughs> but always believe that there's another path. Always have that faith that God has got your back. Because God has always got everyone's back. You just have to believe. And there's going to be times we all get down on our faith. 
I've been down with my faith and my belief at times in my life. Everyone here has. But you have to come back to believe that God is here for you. He's going to show you the path. Your path may not be a pro athlete. It might be. But you can't be disappointed in life and just say, I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to be a pro athlete. God has got a path for everyone. He may turn out to be a mechanic. He might be the greatest mechanic in the world, possibly. You never know. Life may steer you a whole different direction, and you might be an astronaut by the time you're 25. Who knows? Life is going to steer us in different directions. He's going to go in the Army. That's great. Now let's clap. If he's going on, let's give him a hand. Because he's... That's his path. Now his path may change. It could be Air Force. It could be Marines. He may move to the coast and become a Coast Guard. Who knows? But that's your path. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself and believe in God. God is always going to be there for you. When you completely stop believing, and that's when your life is going to spiral out of control. Life is not easy. So anyone in here thinks life is easy, you're completely wrong. You know, just like just like in the wrestling ring, this nothing's easy. You know, this is it's solid. You hit, it's solid. In life, there's times you may hit rock bottom. Everyone at some point in life is going to hit rock bottom. It's how you bounce back up, how you believe. Because God is going to test you. He wants to know if you, you have the strength to enter his kingdom. You have to find it inside yourself. Inside, do I have the strength? Do I believe in God's plan enough to follow his plan? Or do I want to take, choose the easy way out? And the easy way out is going to get you dead, jail, poverty, things like that. The hard way is believing in God's plan for you. Not everyone's plan is the same. You know, I'm going to tell most of you kids, go to college, get an education. But not everyone's gonna, going to. That doesn't work for everyone. Because God's got a different plan for you. But you have to believe that's what you do. When you believe in yourself, you believe in God, you accomplish anything in this life. There is nothing you can't do without faith and without God. Every time I come into this ring, I pray. I pray for the safety of all of us. I pray for the safety of all the fans before every match. Because you never know what's going to happen in life. But you've got to have a plan. And you got to believe. And with belief, believe with faith, with hope, with the love of God, anything is possible. I'm going to go a little longer. If you just take anything out of this, just take one thing. Have faith. Believe in yourself and believe in God because he will show you the path to a better life. Thank you.